How you going? It's me, Calvin, again. Hey, today we're going to talk about knee gaskets. So, I've been using knee gaskets for oh, for a long time, on and off for a long time. I think I got my first pair of knee gaskets back in 99. They were pretty expensive back then. I'm mean, like, there was that era when we first started skating and everyone had just giant, giant pads. Because it was cool. I guess that was the fashion. They, were, they protected you from everything. Um, but as time went on, they were too bulky. I got on the way. Knee gaskets came out. Um, I remember I got my pair off a friend, second hand. So you can imagine the stinky vine vinegary smell. But hey, it was cheap. This is back when everyone wore baggy pants as well. So you could just put them underneath your pants and no one would really know. Fast forward to 2016, decided to get back into blading. No protection, just raw dog. <laughs> and slamming a lot. And it was those little slip ups when you go to grind and your feet would just slip out and you'd slam your shins or your knees. To... Ah. 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 Um, so I decided to get knee gaskets again. So I actually bought these, the Anui Knee Gaskets, Shock Knee Gaskets Pro. I think these go for about a hundred and, I don't know, 120, 140 New Zealand. I know, I remember it costing me just under 200 bucks New Zealand to get them sent over here from Europe. Um, most expensive pads I've ever bought, but well worth it. Shock absorbing, I don't know, that NASA technology. Very, very similar to like footprint insoles, but for your knees. Now I've had these for a good couple of years. You can imagine how they smell. Have a sniff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about them. I'm here to talk about these ones, an Australian company, Gain. Which have come out with their version called the Stealth. Very similar, very similar. It's an Aussie company. I think they market their Market their pads towards more the scooter and the BMX biking crowd. Man, I'm pretty impressed. They look pretty cool. Anyway, let's read what it says. It's all these things that made my ears tingle and my bones happy. Game protection stuff pads. Special viscoelastic polyurethane foam inserts with memory effect. After an impact of any kind of deformation, the foam returns to its original shape quickly. The protector remains soft in case of slowly increasing forces. However, when it comes to fast and heavy impact, the resistance of the foam grows with increasing speed. Energy absorption keeps the impact forces to the human body at a low level. Ooh! Mm. All those buzzwords that I love to hear. What I like about them so far is you've got the main pad here, which is actually pretty solid. At first, it's, it's, it's thick, but not too thick. And it's about the same thickness as, as these, really. This, just one kind of solid piece, which had me worried at first. So I was wondering if it was gonna be flexible enough. But, as I found out, yeah, it's very flexible. These side bits here have extra padding as well, which is very handy because it's not always just the front of your knee that you slam. It's those little side bits and you just kind of fall all over the show. I've got some interesting materials here at the back. It's like a, that wetsuit kind of material, but thin. It's very comfortable. I was very surprised. I think I'm going to show more slams, so this is going to take a while. Collection of slams. 
because it makes sense if we're talking about protection. Who doesn't love good snow? What I didn't also like about these was this extra strap on top. These don't have that. Um, these are still very good, don't get me wrong. But I've noticed after two years, these slip down all the time of wear and tear. Um, still good, but they do slip down. These, because of wear and tear and just stretching out, you will be able to, in the future, go tighter and tighter. So that was a big pull point for me on trying these. What I have noticed uh, while scanning in these is, if you can see, I've got this rubber stuff here, silicone or whatever, but it grips. It's pretty thick, like wide, um, and it grips to your skin nicely so it doesn't uh, slip down or move around. Too much. Now these also came with that, but it was a very thin strip. That's all you needed at the start, but obviously it's worn out after all this, after two years. This is very wide to the point where you need to take off your pants to put these on and off. If you try to take them off with your pants still on, I have noticed it will rip your hairs out. That's that sticky and feel like you have razor burn on your knees. Bugger! Not cool. But, I don't know, comforting to know that they're gonna stay there, that they're secure when you're slamming. So far, I'm digging these. They are pretty protective, they're pretty good. They're a lot more flexible than I thought they would be. Um, and yeah, protect my knees. I haven't done, I've, I've, I've slammed. I was gonna say I haven't slammed much, but no, that's a lie. One thing I have noticed, they're quite tight. So, like anything, these are tight too. Um, but they will stretch out in time. Just like, your, just like your skates, you know, got to wear them in for a bit. I found them pretty comfortable. It's just that, that strip there. You just got to be wary of that. And it's going to rip out some hairs. It's, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. Oh, you fucker! Pretty good. Protect your knees, protect yourself, protect your head. Um, especially if you want to carry on skating for a long time. Just having something like this, world of difference. Actually walk away and you're fine. Fine to skate another day. Possibly even the next day. Oh, oh.